Today's topic is hibiscus tea benefits for health. In this video I am going to talk about benefits of hibiscus tea along with its limitations. I'm going to cite many scientific studies so that you would take sufficient caution while going for hibiscus tea. In a study of antioxidant contents in 256 beverages conducted by Carlson M.H. and co-workers in 2010, hibiscus tea emerged number one in antioxidant content. Hibiscus tea is well known for its tremendous blood pressure lowering effect, but do you know the associated risks of drinking this tea? Most of the videos you watch and articles you read online are not very factual. There is not so much clinical trial done on humans. Research is done so far found some important benefits. Hibiscus tea is the best for high blood pressure and have same or higher effect than many blood pressure medicines. Some studies also have found hibiscus tea lower bad cholesterol and glucose level. Some people drink hibiscus tea to reduce obesity, but research findings so far is disappointing. C.H. Chang and his co-workers in their study in 2014 provided hibiscus tea to overweight people for months. The result was half pound more reduction of weight over placebo group per month. The cholesterol lowering capability is also questionable. Researches so far have not shown uniform results. Z. Aziz and his fellow researchers have reviewed research works done on effect of hibiscus tea in lowering cholesterol. They concluded that taking two cups of hibiscus tea a day may help lowering cholesterol in some people by as much as 12%. You have to test it yourself to see if it works in your case. The blood pressure lowering capability of hibiscus tea is firmly established through many researches. It can be more effective than blood pressure medications. A double blind placebo-controlled study out of Tufts University that compared hibiscus tea with an artificially colored and flavored lookalike. The findings showed that three cups of hibiscus tea a day significantly lowered blood pressure in prehypertensive adults better than the placebo beverage. Yet another premier study was conducted by Tufts University participants were told to take a cup of hibiscus tea with each meal. They were able to bring down their systolic blood pressure by six points. A Herrera Arellano and his co-workers tested effectiveness of hibiscus tea against a leading blood pressure-lowering drug called Captopril. They used five tea bags in preparing two cups of hibiscus tea. They demonstrated that taking two cups of hibiscus tea every morning is effective as taking Captopril drug twice a day. Further, no side effect of hibiscus tea was reported by the researchers. Captopril drug on the other hand can cause rash, cough, and impair test. In rare instances it can cause fatal swelling of throat. Almost every research confirms effectiveness of hibiscus tea in lowering high blood pressure. Drinking hibiscus tea combined with healthy food and exercise may reverse high blood pressure for once and all. Now question is how much hibiscus tea is safe every day. Daily two cup of teas after meals are effective. To be at safe side, drinking more than one quart of tea per day is not advisable. It's better to take a break for a week or two from drinking this tea after you achieve your desired result. If you taking blood pressure medication, you must consult your doctor as it can inhibit the drug or lower blood pressure too much. Finally, one most important thing you should know. The natural acids present in hibiscus tea can soften enamel on your teeth. You can prevent this by immediately rinsing your mouth with water after you are done with taking the tea. The tea form of hibiscus form is usually safe to consume. But flour extract in form of powder or tincture can have serious consequence including liver damage if not taken under medical supervision. 